Welcome to the Muskegon Channel. It's Andy O'Reilly, and today I am down at the City Chambers. We are in the City Commission Chambers. Chief Jeff Lewis is here, and Jeff called me down today because it's time for another uh, get together. Yeah, like I was. It's been a couple studying. of years. It's uh, it's the Love Lives Here thing. It's right. It's our, yeah. our third annual year for Love Lives Here rally. Did we have two? Did we, we have two, the we second two, year one? We had two previous. I missed the second one. I was at the first one, and it was. Uh, I remember the time. Because it was three years ago when we had had some things happen around town that were that were really ugly. Right. A lot of bad things, you know, graffiti and, and things like that. Right. We had some hate symbols. And it was it was a mess. And it's not us at all. It wasn't us. It's not our community. It's not who we are and things like that. Now, shame on me for missing year two. Yeah. I, I didn't even know it came and went. But year three is here now. So let's talk a little bit, a bit between now and then. Okay. All right. Well, what we felt back then when we had these hate symbols in our community, and we had some graffiti that was just very unsightly, that we responded to the Muskegon Rotary yeah. through our diversity inclusion subcommittee, um, created this this um, campaign for love lives here instead of hate. Right. And so we, we were celebrating our Muskegon diversity, and we do that by getting together, and this year it's gonna be on September 9th okay. at 5 p.m. at Hackley Park. Great place. It lasts about two hours till okay. about 6.37. And, uh, we have different ethnicity groups coming in. We have presenters. Um, we have introductions, and, and we're we're just celebrating our diversity and showing our community who actually lives here, right? And um, the richness of Muskegon, and we do that with this rally, and we think that people are really going to like it because um, of all the great things happening. We do have a lot of great things happening. Yes. And what's the word I'm looking for? Sometimes I think that we're so hung up on some of the negativity that goes on and, and, and you know we work so hard to show everything in a better light right, right. you know what I mean I, I never have come on a camera or, or a story or anything and said we're Muskegon and we're perfect I, I've <laughs> never come on and said that once but I, I don't think that we get enough credit for being as diverse and as inclusive and as as, as, as good as we really are as a community right so it, that's it kind of our goal and 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 I, do you see the hang-ups too I mean, do you see the, the, the heavy negative that comes out about us from other angles and things like that? Um, I, I think, I think I, these heavy negatives you're talking about are from years past. Yeah. It's probably from the 20th century. Okay. Uh, but our minds um, have to move up, get rid of those perceptions. I'm with you. We have to That's move up the 21st right, century. Right, right. Because Muskegon is a great place. And this is just another example, um, this love lives here, because you know we're going to open with a prayer by Rabbi um, Albert. Okay. Um, we have Gabriel Estrada. Um, with the mariachi singers, um, Hispanic women in costumes, um, Ebony is doing po uh, poetry. We have an American Indian um, drum and dance um, uh, entertainment, like you know, um, presentation going on. And these are just a few things happening. Um, our Sikh community is coming. I remember and, them from um, the first year. Yeah, yeah, I was standing right with, by them. I thought it was really kind of cool. Yeah, with yeah. Rahai um, Winder, and I hope I don't mispronounce this stuff. Right, and um, you know. Uh, Brianna Scott, our local attorney, who's a, a Michigan State trustee, very prominent person in our community, she'll be she'll be uh, starting off with introductions yeah. and things, and um, it's it's 90 minutes of just I think fun in the evening, and then introducing everyone to the different people who live and participate yeah. in our community that sometimes people don't know about. Right, and. How do I want to phrase this? How do we not know about each other like that? Well, sometimes because we're not doing stuff, and that's right, why right. diversity and inclusion is very active. I'm on the subcommittee. Yep. We're very active in multiple events a year right. to um, basically inform, because we're not educating anyone, we're informing them of what's going on in our community, yeah. who lives here, the rich um, dance and, and information they have, and the only way to share that sometimes is the Love Lives Here rally. And what it does, it counters this negativity yeah, right. that we see on the news. It counters sometimes when an individual, usually, or a couple individuals, put some hate graffiti or a symbol in our community, we immediately respond Absolutely. with Love Lives Here. We've done it with signs. Yep. You'll see signs all around the community. I still love seeing them. Right. And you know what I really like is you can drive around town and see mm -hmm. them, but then when you start to go out into the outskirts, mm -hmm. maybe the White Halls and the Montagues yeah. and all that other kind of stuff, and they're still embracing that feel right. that far out of town. Yeah. Twin Lake, Whitehall, you know, it's just yeah, amazing yeah. to see that. And, and the, I, I think what, what the, the overt and covert message is, is we don't tolerate yes. hate. Right. 
and we accept everyone. Yeah. That, that's, that's the two over and undertones that we're trying to do here. That's a good thing. No cost for this thing? There's no cost. Nice. And um, like I said, there'll be food there. Food. Um, a variety of food. Um, <laughs> and also, um, there'll be a Polish band and dancing. There's going to be a Greek dance lesson in bak it's, it's baklava, baklava. Um, which is a great dessert. Yeah. Well, you um, look at me I'm when you try, say that. I, I haven't had before. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I love it. I, got, I need a little winter. Like I haven't tried that? I need, I need a little winter stomach going Right, here. right. I'll help you out. <laughs> I know the easy path. <laughs> it's a tough winter. We'll get through the winter. That's right. We'll do it together, man. <laughs> uh, but so I'm it's night. Yeah, good night. And Hackley Park, what a great setting. Yeah. It's a fantastic thing, and this is this is an ongoing project for Rotary all the time. Right. Talk a little bit about Rotary. If somebody wanted to get involved with Rotary, what's the first step? Well, before I do that, I'm going to tell you one thing. Oh, okay. I want to throw a little kudos because um, Marsha Hovey Wright, yes, one of our county commissioners, she's chairing this, okay, and has put uh, just an enormous amount of work into this to yeah. make it happen. So I wanted to give a little kudos there. But she's also a Rotary member, and I'll tell you, Rotary, it's 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 a, I'll tell you, it's a very dynamic. Um, let me turn this phone off. Yeah, right. Um, it's a very dynamic. Um, community civic group that we have in town here. There's hundreds of members, and I'll tell you, they're responsible for a lot of great things in our community. Yeah. And so a lot of times, if you can hook up with a Rotary member and come with them to our luncheon, it's every Thursday, and then introduce, we'll introduce you to the club, and you can see if that's a fit for you. Okay. And we have, we have like educators in it. We have obviously law enforcement. We have the business community. We have the faith base. We have um, entrepreneurs. We have people that are retired. Sure. Um, we have people that are up and coming, especially what we're really pushing for is up and coming um, people in the community that want to get involved early. Yeah. So that means if you're in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, we're looking for you. I know. Because we have a lot of um, older but very dedicated members, but we know we won't be there forever. Right. So we're trying to get um, that the youth involved. Yeah. And um, a lot of us are very supportive of, of Rotor Act which is young people, high school and college age that have their own groups, okay. and their next move will be Rotary. Yep. And um, like I said, every Thursday I go to the meetings and there's a whole bunch of stuff happening. We have Grape Escape coming, which is a community event, yes. but it's through Rotary. Um, we have the Seaway Run, which yep. is through Rotary. So they're, they do a lot of things in our community that people really, uh, I, I don't think they know who is behind right. the, the special event. Just like this, if they go to the Love Lives Here rally, that is Muskegon Rotary. Yeah. It funds this for our community because Muskegon Rotary cares yes. about our town. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I was in a Rotary where I came from, and it was uh, on the east side of the state, and we had about uh, 15 members. When I came to Muskegon, and I saw that we're in the banquet room, the Holiday Inn, um, which is now you know, Marriott. Right. I don't want right. to It's hard. <laughs> um, but when I saw 200 people at the luncheon. I about dropped my jaw. Right. And because when you see 200 people, what that means is the power of this rotary. We're a regional rotary. Right. I mean, we can do some very powerful things because we have membership. That's a good thing. But I'll tell you what, they really focus on membership because we don't want our numbers to dwindle. Right. So that is also a subcommittee called membership. Aha. Uh -huh. And they're they constantly recruiting and getting people to join us because it's so important. Because if we don't have Muskegon Rotary, we don't have the Love Lives Here rally. And other great things. And other great things. Certainly. So it's the ninth down at Hackley Park. If you want to be a part of it, and I, I, I'm so ashamed that I missed year two. I can't. I don't <laughs> even know how it fell off the radar. How did I yeah. miss that? Year one was phenomenal. Year two, I'm going to go with your word. Mm -hmm. Take it as great as it was. But year three coming up on the ninth. We're going to link you up here with everything you need to know. Chief, thanks for a couple of minutes today. Well, thank you. Wish you the best on the rally. Get down to Hackley Park on the ninth and be a part of Love Lives Here in Muskegon with Muskegon Rotary.